Okay, hey guys. Um, do, 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 do. My hair is kind of... Uh, whatever. Okay, my hair is a little whack right now. Sorry. Um, another kind of live thing. What I already did is I already applied foundation all over my face. Um, foundation is kind of like an all-over thing for me. Nothing special. I actually don't really wear foundation. Um, but what I did do on this side that I didn't do on this side, if you can't tell already, is I put bronzer on. So that's something um, new that I'm going to be doing. I've never done in my tutorials, I don't think. But for my eyes, I already put down Panelay Paint Pot for my base. And I used um, rice paper for my highlight. And I already put that on too. I'm just going to take my 224 brush and take soft brown. And put it right here in and above my crease and blending it in with the um, rice paper okay and I'm kind of I'm gonna try and kind of do this fast because I don't have a lot of time sorry okay and then I'm gonna take humid which is a gorgeous gorgeous uh, green obviously since it's St. Patrick's Day, why not be festive? I'm definitely not the kind of person to like get decked out and look like a leprechaun, but I will sport some nice uh, festive makeup. I might wear a green shirt tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not one for... The only thing I'm doing tomorrow is going to school and like, I'm not really one for getting all glammed up for school. You know, who do I have to impress? Nobody. Okay. So you can blend as you go. I just use a regular shader brush. This is, um, I think it's from Walmart or some drugstore brand. And then I'm going to take Carbon, which is just a matte black. You could use any kind of black eyeshadow or dark eyeshadow if you don't want to use black. A really nice dark, dark brown would work well. And I'm just putting a little bit because carbon is so pigmented and so bold and strong. I'm just putting a little bit and blending it out as I go. Because I, it's a lot easier to make it darker than it is to buff it out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to take Sushi Flower, which is a really nice pink color. I'm so glad that I bought it. And I'm going to put this above the carbon. And you could, you know, put it on as much as you're liking. Some people, I mean, you know, you might not want it at all. And you might not, you might want it, like, way brighter. How's your guys' weekend? Gosh, I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in, like, forever. Taking my 224 brush and kind of just blending everything. Blending out the crease. Come follow me on Twitter, guys. Like, really. Like, in a big, bad way. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got braces. I don't think I made a video yet with my braces, so that'll be, um, interesting. Um, and then next, uh, is going to be eyeliner mascara, and I'm not going to film that part just because you guys know what to do. Um, eyeliner mascara, I think, is 
personal preference, so, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey guys, so I did, um, eyeliner, mascara, and, uh, filled in my brows. I don't do anything special. I just use Embark, which is a dark brown, and, um, an angle brush. That's it. And, like, just short strokes, just like everyone tells you. But, what I do for my bronzer, and I kind of realized that I went a little bronzer happy. I haven't worn face makeup, foundation, bronzer, highlighter, blush highlighter, or anything for, I don't know how long. A long time, though. So, the bronzer that I use is a um, loose bronzer by Max Factor. I, this is just the cap of it. But, um, I, and then I have a Benefit Kabuki brush, and, um, this is not the best Kabuki brush ever. I don't recommend it to anybody. Yeah, it's not the softest you ever feel. I would, um, honestly, I would invest, if you want to really buy a good quality Kabuki brush, I would save the money to invest into, um, either a Sephora Kabuki brush or Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever has a phenomenal Kabuki brush. It is like the softest thing you ever, you just want to like put it on your face all day long, I swear. So I'm going to put a little bit of the blue bronzer on my brush. And I'm going to put it right here in the hollow of my cheek. And kind of just go up, new message. And then I'm going to just blend it down because you don't want any, um, Mind the demarcation. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, that's like the biggest pet peeve. So then I'm going to take a little bit more bronzer and put it right here in the temple and kind of just blend it. I already put highlight in the middle of my forehead, so just want to blend it with the highlight. 